Hello, I want to show you a trick that I use to generate some stats information for the CLI Magic feed. I wanted to know how many people had been following recently, like as far as the growth of the, uh, the account. And when I was looking at the Twitter API to see if I could get any information about when somebody started following so that I could generate like a bar graph or something showing uh, growth over time, I found that there was actually, it, it provides you pretty much everything else except it doesn't give you a timestamp for when somebody started following you, which I found ridiculous. So fortunately, they send you an email every time you get a new follower if you choose to set it up that way and I've been receiving the emails since I started the account and I can go back through my mail and just grep out the messages that um, that I would have received every time somebody subscribed so I can generate this list myself using my own mail in my mailbox I store my mail in a mailder format so the messages are separated out by uh, one message per file and I also save my messages so that I archive them. Uh, they go into the inbox and they also get archived into these save message folders uh, which are suffixed by the, the month. So in order to get the... Uh, I just have to look at a file to see what I can use in one of those messages in order to uh, generate my stats. And I know that what they put uh, in the message is so and so is now following you on Twitter. So I can, I'm just going to generate this for Twitter. I mean, I could do the same thing for Identica too. Um, actually, Identica is a little bit more difficult because if somebody's using a foreign version, a uh, foreign language version of Identica, then the messages come in under that language. So that'd be a little tricky to do. So I'll grep through for the current month just to keep it short. And I'm just going to get the first one here. All right. So I have a message here that I can look at. Sorry, Mojo Bojo, I'm using uh, your subscription to, to show people this. You'll see that there's actually some header lines that get injected into the message by Twitter. Uh, and we can use these to actually uh, filter out the messages that we want for our stats. I actually have uh, multiple Twitter accounts. I think I have six now. And so I have to actually filter out which ones belong to CLI Magic. So I can use this line, uh, X Twitter recipient screen name CLI Magic, and also use this line, which uh, tells a little bit easier than, I mean, not really easier, but probably more exact that this is a message that for somebody following me as opposed to like a direct message notification. So I use those two uh, header lines to generate my stats. And I'll go ahead and go through and generate a for loop. Let me move it down here so make sure it's on your screen. Four month in, and I'll start with 2009. Uh, December of 2009 is the first month I ran CLI Magic. And then all of 2010, and I'm going to use a brace expansion here, and this will break out all the months uh, for me. There is a problem with that, however, that we'll deal with in a second. And I'll go up to April of this year, which is the current month. So if I echo this out now, you can see what this will generate. And this, I'm actually running Bash version 3, which means that it doesn't automatically turn this zero into a zero pad for the rest of the uh, single digit months. If I was using Bash 4, it would automatically do that for me. So we need to fix that. And the way I'm going to fix it is by using sed to do a search and replace and reassign to the month variable. So I'll do a command substitution here, echo the month into sed, and start doing a substitution. And I'll say a dash followed by, and I want to capture this number, so I'll start a uh, par backslash parentheses to do a, a capture, followed by 
any number, any single number from 0 to 9, and I, I tell it that it's a single number by putting a dollar sign at the end, because that's going to be at the end of the string. And then I want to replace that with dash 0 and then 1. And this should... Now we can look, and now we've generated a nice uh, zero padded list that I can use uh, in cooperation with the directory names. So now I can go back and I'll go ahead and leave this echo month here, but I'll, put, I'll take out the new line and I'll put it like this. This, I often do this uh, so that I, you know, when I go to generate stats, I can have the key name basically for each stat or the label. So now we are going to egrep. Actually, I don't need egrep, but that's why I have in my notes for some reason. Anyways, uh, we only want to get the name of the file, so we use dash l, which means just give me the file name if there's a match. Um, we want to do recursive on this first grep because we're talking about grepping th recursively through a directory. And I want to search for x tw uh, dash twitter email type is font. It doesn't really matter which order you do this thing. Uh, this, uh, since I have to do the is following and the CLI magic, I have to do them in two separate things. It doesn't really matter which one comes first. I don't really need the slash either. Just kind of have it. Okay. And then now this is going to generate a list of files. So I want to pass each of those files into xargs and grep each one of them individually for x twitter. You know what? I'm going to copy and paste this just so I don't make a mistake. Probably will make a mistake anyways, right? <laughs> and then, so this will give me all the emails where somebody chose to follow and it was for CLI Magic. And then I pass this into WC, which will count the words. And with the dash L option, it will sh only show me how many lines uh, were passed through WC. So I can run this. And, and this is what it looks like. So it's going through and counting how many followers I got each month. So once this is finished, you can actually use the data uh, in a spreadsheet or something like that. All right, see you next time.